Happy Sunday, everyone. Well, we're starting your forecast off tonight with a weather alert. There's a couple of them. Actually, I wanted to mention to you this one first. This is the fire weather watch. Now, I wanted to mention this one especially first because this one was actually updated from yesterday. At first, it was Monday afternoon to Monday evening. Now it's actually been changed to Tuesday afternoon until Tuesday evening. This one is for Douglas County until the Oregon border. What this is, we have critical fire weather conditions on Tuesday. We're going to have some gusty winds that are going up to 30 five miles per hour. We're also going to have some relative humidity that's going to go as low as 7%. And now the second one that I want to mention to you is a red flag warning. Now this one is for tomorrow on Monday from noon to 9 p.m. Now who does this affect? It's for Modoc, Klamath, as well as Lake County. Same thing. We have gusty winds up to 25 miles per hour. We also have relative humidity that's going as low as 5 to 10 percent. So that's the red flag warning for tomorrow. Take a look at the next 48 hours on your pinpoint forecast. We can go ahead and get used to this over the next few days. Really fair and calm conditions. And then watch how all of that starts to change starting on Tuesday. Early Tuesday morning, we're going to get a lot of cloud cover. You're starting to see a little bit of those green spots head into the into inland as well, giving us a chance and a slight chance for some showers in most areas in the Rogue Valley. Here's your forecast starting with the coast for tonight. We're going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies. We're also going to have some patchy fog after midnight. Winds are going to be coming in from the west at 10 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for tomorrow morning, we're going to have mostly cloudy skies. We're also going to have some patchy fog and patchy drizzle possible as well. Highs are going to be in the 60s, 52 for Brookings and 60 for Bend, and looking at 64 up in North Bend. If we head to the West Valleys for tonight, mostly clear. We're going to have some haze possible. That's also going to follow into tomorrow as well with haze possible. We're also going to have some sunny and warm skies to go along with it. Highs are going to be in the 80s, 90s in some areas, looking at 92 for Grants Pass and Medford, 90 for Ashland and 89 for Wairika and Cave Junction. But if we head east of the Cascades for tonight, we're looking at mostly clear skies. Winds coming in from the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Those winds are going to bump up tomorrow from the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. We're also going to have sunny skies to go along with it. Highs are going to be in the 80s, 87 for Christmas Valley and Paisley, looking at 85 for Lakeview and 70 degrees for Crater Lake. Here's your seven day forecast, starting with the Rogue Valley. Now notice how I put hazy days on Monday as well as Tuesday, but take a look at the temperatures. Your warmest day is going to be on Monday. Then we're dropping down into the 80s and we're going to keep dropping into the low 80s by Saturday and Sunday. So starting that cool down on Tuesday, notice how we also have a very slight chance all throughout this week for some showers. So go ahead and look out for that with lows in the 50s. If we head over to Klamath Basin, your only slight chance for showers is going to be on Tuesday. Otherwise, your warmest day is going to be on Monday, looking at your cool down starting on Tuesday as well. Cooling down into the week, we're looking at next weekend in 76 as well as 77. If we go to Mount Shasta City, here's your seven day forecast. You've got a slight chance for those showers on Tuesday as well as Saturday and Sunday. Warmest day, keeping with the trend on Monday, dropping down into the 70s starting on Wednesday. You're looking at 80 degrees for that Tuesday. And if we head over to the coast, here's where most of the headlines are. You've got a slight chance for showers from Thursday to Sunday. You've got morning patchy fog on Monday and a slight chance for showers on Tuesday. And look out, we're going to have a possible showers on Wednesday. Highs are going to be in the 60s and your lows are going to be in the 50s.